Still more to do, Mrs. Marshall. Beth will have heaps of cooch in them. We'll come back tomorrow, finish up properly. Yeah. Can I leave your pans and biscuits on the kitchen bench? What about the key? Under the mat at the back door. What are you doing? We've got the keys! Harrison, are you a complete and utter moron? If we find something we like, I think the place has been broken into. Oh. Uh, What's that? It's Let's get out. Uh, I can't just leave her. She must be hurt. Look, don't be a bloody idiot. We've got to get out. Out of here. You can't for what? What if she's sick or something? Well, too bad. Please? Is someone there? Are you sick or what? She'll not be broken. We can't just leave. Oh, man. Uh, uh, I need help. Oh, Nick. Oh, thank goodness. Can you get up? Uh, uh, it's my head. Uh, Call an ambulance. Happy? Mm-hmm. Very. Careful, you're supposed to go to work. Morning. Why are you working on a Sunday anyway? Aren't you the boss? I have to save up to buy your debutante's outfit. If I start working weekends now, I might just make the deposit. I'm not being a debutante. That stuff is gross. I think Michael's joking, darling. He's working because he wants to. Let's face it, Grizz, you're a bore. Mm. Go and have a shave. Don't pick. I'll make you a poached egg. You forgot. Forgot what? Shopping. This morning you promised. Oh, hell. I'm sorry. All you two ever do is bonk. From what I've heard, we're not the only ones. Is this gallery thing still on tonight? Uh-huh. I'll meet you there. Unless you can tear yourself away from the clinic and come home first. Uh-huh. Right. So what am I supposed to do tonight? Is homework too far-fetched an idea? We won't be late. You never forget stuff with him. Listen, I know you're not mad on Dad moving back in, but the two of us are trying to make a go of it. With time, it could work. Oh, I believe you. It might, if you pitched in and stopped behaving like a seven-year-old. Oh, well, just as well you boys were here, eh? Lucky they've got such good hearing, you mean? How'd that window get broken? It wasn't us. Mrs. Marshall left us the key. We just came in to get our pay and we found her here on the ground. OK, love. We're off. Don't worry. We're the smoothest team in the business. Lock the doors. Bring the key out to the big white van, pronto. Stupid kill. Greetings, fellow space travellers, and welcome to the egg-free zone. Please do not remove your particular... Do you know what I'd like to do to you? Uh, no, I'd rather not. So, how is every little thing? Oh, right. That horrible egg woman's got sick of free lunches. Oh, beauty. Uh, how's the new flatmate working out? Ha, ha, ha! What a find! The brilliant, brilliantest cock I've ever seen. <laughs> and I'm the man in the moon, Lena can't cook to save himself. <laughs> Gina, I'm not talking about Leonard, I'm talking about Joe. Where's Leonard? He moved off to Kirsty's. You mean he's flirting with her? Mm-hmm. Picked up his earplugs and walked right on out. Why doesn't anyone ever tell me anything around this place? But I thought Kirsty would have told you. Oh, why should she? Mm. Doesn't matter anyway. Mm. Hey, hey, guess what? Declan's opened a bar. Oh, scuzzy wee dive, no big deal. Oh, well, the scuzzy wee restaurant might be. Oh, bar food, a few droopy nachos. <laughs> no way. No, no, Dad's found himself an excellent chef. He's going to be doing lunches, the works. You're going to be having some... Pretty stiff competition. Oh, what? Honestly, it's utterly foul. I have to sleep with the Walkman on. I can't really imagine my parents ever doing it. How do you think they got you, osmosis? <laughs> I might as well not be there. If I walked out, they wouldn't even notice. I'm sure it can't be that bad. Now you try living with them. It's all wee this, wee that. They didn't get out of bed till lunchtime. I'm going to put a load of washing on. Have you got any? Oh, no, I'll do my later, thanks. 
How's that? Ten bucks in an op shop. Oh, it's neat. Mm. Come on. Hey, look, it can't be that bad. I would do anything to have my dad back. It won't last. I'll start fighting again and Jonathan and I'll be stuck in the middle. I hate them. If you just take a seat, Mr. Bly, Dr. McKenna won't be long. Off home for tea and telly, Marge? Mass first. I couldn't face it this morning. Oh, nothing wrong, I huh? hope. Oh, just a fit of the Sunday blues. Missing Stewie and Tom. Sunday always used to be our family day. Still, up with and onwards. I'll see you tomorrow. Guy! Ah, oh, wait up. Look, we've got a crisis. We? The coffee shop. Well, um, Dickens opening a bar just down the road. Oh, yeah, I heard. He's doing lunches. Mm. Well, he's going to take all our business and we'll be bankrupted. Well, who told you that? Steve. We'll talk to Declan. Steve's probably got his wires crossed. He said lunch. And he probably means bar snacks and nipples. Look, here's the man himself. Ask him. Oh, Declan, um, we've got to talk. Uh, Steve said you were going to do lunches. Are you doing lunches? Yeah, well, um, if I ever get rid of the builders and the plumbers and the spark, you only speed is slow. Yes, I'll be serving food. What sort of food? Is that any of your business, Gina? Yeah. Blow us hot and cold, that one, Marge. I see you haven't taken possession of the house yet. Too busy with the bar, I suppose. Partly, uh, still considering renovations. Oh, the kitchen, you mean? Oh, yeah, in those bedrooms. What's wrong with the bedrooms? Hi, man. Oh. Hi. You look dead on your feet. Oh, I am, I am. Who's that bloke? Ah, oh, don't know. Look like he knew you. Hey, what is this? I come in here tonight, I get the third degree from everyone. Give a man a break. Come home with me, Kennedy, yeah. and you might get even more than that. Oh. Mm. Now, it's a relatively straightforward operation. We should have you back on your feet in no time, as long as you take it easy. Well, what about my balls? I've got the ladies' fours in a fortnight. Well, a fortnight could be pushing it. You will need to rest your hip. Well, oh, fancy falling over like that in your own house. It could happen to anyone. Though. Now, try and get some rest, and I'll see you in the morning. Oh, thanks, dear. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. You're still here. I thought you would have run away by now. Where did they hide the crutches? <laughs> have you got someone to feed your cat? Oh, aren't you sweet to remember that? Yes, jared has been in. Jared, is that your son? Oh, yes. Oh, he's very kind and good, but look at all this. A packet of wine biscuits would have done. Oh, aren't I a moaning, Minnie? Have one of those, dear. Oh. Trouble is... Now I've gone and given him just the excuse he needs. Can't leave her in the house by herself. Better find a nice rest home for her. I guess he's just worried about you. Oh, you'd think I was 95 the way he carries on. I know he means well, but I don't... Iris, Iris, relax. It's early days yet. Leonard? Hmm? Can you get a wriggle on? I'd like to get to be this side of the night. Festi nolente, from the Latin, strictly translated, means hasten slowly. In other words... In other words, the longer you take to do the dishes, the more you get up your flatmate's nose. It was a joke. Oh, <laughs> yes. So you checked all the windows tonight? Yes, yes, of course. <clears throat> and the doors were as uh, safe as houses, as they say. <laughs> oh, sorry. What should we do now? Bed. Mm. That's the nicest thing you've said to me all night. Hey, well, what about your parents? Oh, they won't even notice. I'll leave a message on the answer phone. No, you should go home. I've got work in the morning. First day at the job and I need to get organised. Fine. Get organised then. Sorry I'm in the way. Sorry I breathed. Not a happy girl. <sighs> She's got everything on a plate. You know, rich parents, her own car. I can't figure her out sometimes. How would you like McKenna as a father? Yeah, well, at least she's got one. Stuart, so have you somewhere. And look on the bright side, you've got me and Leonard. <laughs> Instant family. I'm not so sure about Leonard. Should be nice to people from other planets. Um, <clears throat> I've finished the dishes and I'm running a bath. And by the way, I've uh, lost my bike. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Leonard. <laughs> so you want a family, <laughs> you got one. Hey, Joe. Hi. What are you doing? Just been cleaning your room. 
How long has the oven been like this? Um, forever. Hey, listen, man, you shouldn't be doing that. You do too much around here already. Oh, I don't mind. I thought I might do a roast tonight. <laughs> Yummy. Did I hear someone say roast? Uh, mate, you've got 20 20 hearing around food. No, oh, you can talk. What, what's that smell? <sighs> Cleanliness. Uh. And Joe's cooking dinner tonight again. Well, excellent. I'm off work early. That's good. Mate, you haven't cooked dinner since the last time Gina was here. About time you pulled your weight, buddy. I don't mind, honestly. Especially now I know the oven's not a health hazard. Well, you can't argue with that. Well, I'm off the shower. Oh, yeah, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Postcard from Ellie. Here we go. Mm. All right. Mm. Man, she's skiing in the Italian Alps. Mm -hmm. Busy girl, eh? <laughs> yeah, must have lots of money. Not when she was living with us, eh, Sammy? <laughs> Mate, I just hope Ellie's happy. You make a wonderful character in a Disney film, Sam. <laughs> so, my wondrous flatmate, I hear you're going to make us a roast. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? You'll see. Come on, Mark. Ah, good, good. Our two heroes. Congratulations on the rescue. Right, we all set? Yep. What's going on? Okay. Come on. Are you sure you're quite comfortable there? Yes, thank you, dear. Quite comfortable. All right. Here you go. It's for you. See you later. See you. Bye-bye. Well organised, Kirsty. Mm -hmm. Good. Right, Nick, you this side. Mark, you around there. Hello, you two. Oh, isn't this exciting? We're going to be in the paper. Oh, looking good. OK, and a bit closer. Smile. And... And another one. Spooky stuff with a cushion the other night. Did Stuart tell you? Nobody tells me anything. Okay, Gina, tell me what's going on. Why should I? You don't bother to let on that all of a sudden you're fanning with Leonard and that the whole wide world knows, including Steve Moles, and I don't. I thought you were my friend. I thought you didn't care about Leonard anymore. I don't. Then what's the problem? There is no problem. Watch out, the Italian's biting. Knock him dead. Thanks, mate. How come you two get on so well? Don't know, mates, I suppose. Hello, Rachel. Oh, Stewie. Oh, you look lovely. You nervous? Yeah, a bit. Oh, you'll be fine. Jenny sends her love and lots of luck. Thanks. Put that in your pocket. What is it? It's a rabbit's foot. It was Tom's. It's for luck. Ring me tonight. Gross, a rabbit's foot. No, it's okay. Stuart, I was thinking, maybe I should come fighting with you. Are you serious? Yeah, I could call a bigger allowance out of dad, enough for rent and everything. That's a pretty big step. So? So we shouldn't rush into it. Look, I've got to go, okay? I'll give you a call. We'll talk. Right, Dr. McKenna's running a few minutes late. I'll go and see what he's up to. That chap you were with in reception last night. Mm hmm. Jacqueline Kennedy, wasn't it? Yes, do you know him? Oh, you will remember me. We met years ago in Raglan. He's a nice guy. Hmm, very nice. He's my husband. Well, what do you know? That's a coincidence, isn't it? What's he doing for a crust these days? Well, he runs the gym across the road and we're opening a new bar. He's doing all right for himself, isn't he? Mm. Ah, Mr. Bly. Right, let's have a look at this arm. Thanks. Look, how was I supposed to know I wasn't supposed to tell her that he was flirting with you, huh? How was I supposed to know I was? Uh, was what? Supposed to tell her. Oh, five minutes with Gina. Hey, guess what? Party, 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 party! Kennedy's is a stickler. Mm-hmm. The grand opening. You coming along? Sure am. Okay. Jo, are you coming? Oh, I should go and see Mum. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. No, I'm not much good at that sort of thing. There's only one way to get better. Are you coming home before this thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, you want to lift. Thanks. We can eat about seven, is that all right? Yep, fine, fine. I thought I might do apple crumble for afters. Mmm, yum. Now, is there any chance of a custard with that? Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Am I really hearing this? Uh, are you actually cooking for this hoon job? Hoon? Yeah. Out. Now, she's going to say things which... 
aren't very nice. What about Dylan? The first rule to flatting with guys, especially that con artist, is you never run around after them. They start expecting it. But if I wasn't there, they'd just eat pizzas. Let them eat pizzas. What you need is a big dose of fun. Fun? Yep, we'll go to Declan's party together. Oh, You'll know heaps right. of people there easy. Look, I'll come around tonight and we'll sort out something to wear. You'll have a ball, don't worry. Iris is too independent for her own good. It's only recently she's let Gerard do a few odd jobs around the house. Oh, and she's got those boys to mow the lawn now, thank heavens. She's determined to cope. That's the problem. She's had a couple of falls recently. Didn't tell us. We had to dig it out of her. We thought maybe we should look into the possibility of a, um, rest home. Or one of those nice ones. Have you talked to Iris about this? Well, we've tried, but, uh... She won't have a bar of it. Oh, I don't blame her, really. It's a big upheaval. But it's her safety that worries me. Especially now she's got this dicky hip. The only thing worrying her about that is bold. OK, I'll have a talk to her. But I want to make one thing very clear to you. I will be finding out what she feels is best. Good luck. Good timing. Have you seen this yet? No. Nah. Oh, gross. Good publicity. Supergrass even gets a mention. I thought you'd be pleased and proud. I am. You don't have to go to school. I'm going to get hell. Well, that'll teach you to go around being nice to old ladies. Come on, I'm going to shout you and Marge dinner tonight. That was OK. You know, it'll get better when I know my stuff. Are your workmates nice? Well, I was just training today, so I didn't really get to talk to anyone. I, I don't think you'll find your bike clip in there, Leonard. Mm. I may have ever did the cushion pinched it. Oh, don't. Why do you think I'm putting off going to bed? What do you think we all are? Oh, an idea. Oh, I think I'll oh. check the windows. Hey, I've already done it. Don't worry. The only way anyone can get in is by smashing them. Oh, yeah? What if they chainsaw the door down? Well, I think we'll hear that. <laughs> but tonight's security measures. Uh, Leonard, I've already done the windows. Good. They come through the door. This should alert us. <laughs> Well, I'll say good night, and I'm going to put some earplugs in. I'm going to shift tomorrow morning. Excuse me. Well, it's now or never. Hey, we'll be OK. I mean, there's three of us, and we've got Leonard's burglar alarm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine. Famous last words. I'll do the lights. OK, night. Nick Harrison doing something useful. I don't believe it. Have a look. <laughs> Oh, he's not bad yeah. from a distance. <laughs> Newsflash, we are now skiing the Italian Alps, would you believe? No, we're not. No? We are now in Provence. Provence? Provence. Provence. Uh, Provence. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, wish you guys were here. It's hot and sunny and you should see the scrummy food. My goodness me, give me a look, give me a look. Look, I keep up with I thought she was on a yacht somewhere. She was. Yesterday. Give my love to everyone at the clinic. <laughs> Tell Gina Italy was the best. Lots of love, Ellie. Whoa, where's she getting all the money for this? Mm, that's what I want to know. She can't be working. She hasn't got time. Any mental Chris? Nothing. I mean, if he wants to chase her, he's not going to have hope in hell. <laughs> Maybe that's the plan. Mm. Is that the umbrella? Yeah. It must have been the wind. The door's still locked. It's OK. So put us that bench, John, but wait till it dries, eh? Oh, Bert, Bert. Here, take this, will you? Yep. Oh, look where I'm coming or going. How are you going, my darling? The Sheila's done her dash. Oh. I'm off home. <laughs> We're going to be ready on time? Hey, they don't call me Lightning Kennedy for nothing, you know. You know, they don't call you Lightning Kennedy at all. Oh, mm. Hello, Gina. Couldn't you sleep? What? Oh. Not really. Um, look, Declan, I'm really sorry about last night. I was in a bit of a flat. No problems. What can I do for you? This, uh, restaurant of yours. Ah, madam. Our evening menu. Hmm. It's not bad. Um, but it's lunch I want to talk to you about. OK, fire away. What's this? Uh, menus, costings, the whole lot. If you give me the concession to do lunch, we can work out a deal and, and we can both win. What do you say? Our lunch and menu. It's all under control, Gina. Are you trying to put me out of business or what? I mean... Ah, it's just a bit of friendly competition. Come along tomorrow night, have a look for yourself. No, thank you very much. I don't associate with people I can't trust. Oh, Declan. G'day. Burning the midnight oil, eh? 
Yeah, well, you could say that. It's a great wee place you got here. Yeah. Well, I something like this myself. Yeah. You're looking good. Better than last, I saw you. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, that wouldn't be hard, would it? <laughs> <laughs> you mind if I lock up now? Yeah, sure. A bit of work today. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. See ya. Good to see you. You awake? <laughs> yeah. I couldn't sleep. I keep hearing noises. Oh, yeah, me too. Can you have some dinner? Oh, thanks. You know what I keep thinking? What? That it's Daryl. Yeah, it crossed my mind. No, that pillow thing is too weird even for him. No, he can't get back into the country. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past him. His house rattles a lot. Ah, it's because we're thinking about it. Mm. We're just listening for it. What'd you ever do then in those ghost stories when you were a kid? Uh, not really, but I bet you did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Patrick and me one time. I rigged up this little tapper outside Mum's window. Dad was away. I had this, rigged it up with little torch batteries. <laughs> I made this little timer and every 20 minutes would tap on the end of Mum's window. <laughs> She was so angry when she found out. What about that story where the two people are in bed and he goes to turn the light off and the switch is at the other side of the room? Yeah, what happened? Well, his girlfriend puts her arm out and her arm gets longer and longer and longer until it reaches the switch. <laughs> that is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> Morning. Hi. I don't think he's awake. Not your problem, Leonard. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost. It seems I think the change is what I need. If I'm looking for a chance, I'll be dreaming. Yesterday's another place Just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall Says I'll be Sean and Street If you want to find a way Of searching for another world It's hard to see Sean and Street Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee so you can see more of New Zealand on air.